Hi, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a heart sun catcher. You will need to have either a laminator with a laminating pouch um, for each sun catcher that you make or you can use contact paper but I recommend using a laminator as contact paper is very sticky and kind of messy and it always has bubbles in it when you use that. So um, you can find laminators such as these a very affordable price at Walmart or Sam's Club along with the laminating pouches. Um, they work wonderful and you can use them to laminate all your materials and keep them safe and durable. For this project I have a heart pattern that you can find on my website at childcareland.com underneath the video section or you can just free cut your own heart. And um, making these sun cut catchers can be for more than just hearts. You would use the same procedure to, you, to make any kind of a sun catcher pattern um, that you wanted to use. So once you have um, your heart pattern on construction paper, you're going to want to cut the center out for each child. Unless you have older children, they can do it themselves. But I recommend that um, you start with the base of the heart, having the heart cut out, the center of the heart cut out. And you would just simply, you know, st stick your scissors in and then work your way around. And maybe leave about uh, three quarters of an inch border around the heart area or whatever pattern you're going to be using for your sun catcher. And again, this can be more than just hearts. It can be for any, any type of sun catcher that you want to use. So you would cut the center out of each sun, um, of each sun catcher pattern like I've done here. And once you have that done, you're going to open your laminating pouch or if you're using contact paper, you can um, set the pattern on there too, the open sun, the open heart. And about the thing about the sun, the um, laminating pouches is they're not always easy to find the edges on there. But we'll get it. There we go. Alright, so you have your um, pattern set right there. And then you're just going to decorate the inside. And we usually use uh, different colors of tissue paper. That's very easy um, for children. They can cut it up or tear it up. And you just place that inside the heart pattern itself. And fill it up. You can put as little in as you want or as much in as you want. And um, some people like to use crayon shavings in their sun catchers. And that really does make it pretty. But you have to watch the amount of um, crayon shavings you put in because once you use a laminator, that will melt the crayons and it may cause it to run out the sides of the, um, the heart. So today I'm, not, I'm choosing not to do that because I think it's going to be pretty with what we're, we are using. Do a couple more pieces here of yellow, maybe a green. And so um, children would fill in their heart pattern or whatever pattern that you are doing. And then they can put um, embellishments on it. Uh, we like to use sequins in ours. They don't melt and they laminate well. So I'm going to sprinkle a few of those on. Just a few right in here. And they would have these set out in a bowl for the um, children to use their own, grab their own, decide which ones they want to use. And then I also am a big fan of glitter. And so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter on in here too. Just like that. And then you would cover it, cover the close the laminating pouch, or if you're using contact paper, you'd put another sheet on and smooth it out. But um, as I've said before, the laminators are just wonderful and they're very inexpensive. So I'm just going to slide that in and it'll run through. And then you would cut that pattern out and then you have your sun catcher and this works well for any pattern, apples, um, seashells, trees, anything you want to do. We do a lot of these because they look so pretty in the window and the children have a lot of fun um, decorating them and it is an excellent fine motor skill development when the children have to pick up um, tissue paper and separate them or sequins and put them on. So it um, not only works with their creativity but it also, unknowing to them, develops their fine motor skills. And it's coming out now, and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's finished and coming through. And these don't have to be hung in a window. You can um, punch a hole on the top and just attach a piece of yarn or string and hang them from your ceiling, so they look really pretty that way too. You can hang them on walls. Um, 
but they really do look nice in the window. So you can use them for a variety of classroom decorations. And so that's what it look like, looks like when it's all laminated. And you adjust then. And depending on the ages of the children, either they could cut it out or you would cut it out for them. And then it would just hang wherever you want to put it. Lots of fun and very, very cute. For a heart-shaped sun catcher, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. And I'll show you it in a second. There you go. Heart shape, where are we? Heart shaped sun catcher. And thanks for watching.